Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I'm here with another homeschooling STEM video. And this video today is gonna focus on um, math. And um, I wanted to introduce you guys to two books. This one is The Adventures of Penrose, The Mathematical Cat. And this one is The Further Adventures of Penrose, The Mathematical Cat. These books are really, really cool because they're a great way to introduce younger children to higher level math. So I would say if you have a really mathy child, your child just um, really just loves math, consumes math, is enthralled by math, you can introduce these books as early as five or six. If you have a child that maybe isn't as strong in math, then you might want to hold off until seven or eight years old to introduce these books. If you have an older child, who's only done really a basic math curriculum where they learn in the traditional order. Um, if you're using anything like a, a Saxon, Singapore, um, uh, a Right Start Math, anything that's going to have a more of the traditional flow for mathematics, then these books are going to be really good even for an older child because you may not have hit some of these math concepts yet. And um, if you're, and it really, is a fun way to introduce your child to some math that they may not get otherwise and helps them see that math can actually be fun. Um, I really love these books for any parent that may be even a little bit math apprehensive if math wasn't your best subject or math wasn't a subject that you enjoyed but you want to make sure that your child you know doesn't pick up on your apprehension or you know doesn't think that you know math is you know, not something that they should really be interested in. These are these books are, are great for your kids to be able to work through. And again, if you have a mathy child that this is just their area and they want to be able to do more than what they're doing with their standard math curriculum, these books are going to be great. For instance, this is the first book, The Adventures of Penrose, The Mathematical Cat. And this is Penrose, and he guides your child through the book. And each chapter is just on an adventure with math. And for instance, the first chapter, uh, Penrose meets zeros and ones. This introduces your child to the area of binary numbers. And when they finish this very short, you know, two pages, they will be asked to try it on their own and to figure out a binary number on their own. And it's, the instructions are pretty clear and your child will be able to do it. I know um, two of my three were able to do the, the chapter on binary math at the four to five um, age range. And the other one, I just didn't do it with him because he wasn't all that interested. And again, this, this is not a textbook, this is a fun book. So you only wanna introduce this, you know, you can um, see if your local library has it, if you don't wanna buy it right away and test out a couple of things. And if your child doesn't like it, then take it back to the library, don't recheck it out um, because it, it's, this should be fun. Um, so the first chapter is on binary numbers and then the second chapter, um, they're going to um, do concept they're going to be introduced to square roots okay but it's it's really fun so it doesn't feel like oh my goodness i'm forcing my child to learn square roots and they're nine years old that's not how these books are supposed to work these books are not about forcing your child to learn a particular type of math these books are about allowing your child to enjoy different aspects of math that they may not get to in their traditional math curriculum so only do it if it's fun and they're I mean they're gonna cover just all kinds of um, math challenges you know this one is about playing with numbers and doing different games with numbers and um, the further adventures of Pen Penrose really was you know um, the authors uh, fans were saying you know my kids devoured the book can you give us more and you know, this, you know, it has chapters on, you know, playing with prime numbers and making sure that they, you know, really, it, it's not just so much about just understanding um, um, the numbers, but really having fun with math. And that's what STEM is supposed to be about. It really is supposed to be about introducing your, your children to these areas of study that are traditionally outside the norm of what we will find in a more 
you know, classical education method, but things that our kids are going to really need to function in this century, in, in the world in which they live in. And, you know, math is math is such a universal language. I mean, it, it doesn't have the, the cultural bias that we tend to see, and it is going to... It's, it's a language that, you know, pretty much everybody is going to be speaking um, the same, especially if you introduce your children to the metric system, then they can really be, you know, have, have international conversations. So um, I really, really like these books. I, we have just enjoyed going through them. We do not do them on a particular schedule. There's no place in our schedule where it says you have to sit down with Penrose. But if my kids are sitting down and they're saying, oh, what, you know, what do you want us to do? Or we don't have anything to do. Or if you know, they're kind of, um, you know, not really focused on anything, or if they do their math that we were supposed to do that day, and, and they want to do some more, then we would go ahead and tackle one or two problems or one or two chapters out of Penrose. So it's really good, really fun. And I know a lot of people, they don't say fun and math in the same sentence. I have no idea what one of my children just dropped. But since nobody's crying, I'm gonna just keep going. Um, <laughs> But um, if you don't normally put math and fun in the same sentence, you may want to pick up these books to see if it can spark something um, in you or in your child, because that's really what, what, what having a focus on STEM is about, allowing your child to see the, the fun aspects and the, the hidden layers of interesting um, attributes that we can find in um in these areas of science technology engineering and math so um if these are for you again like i i would recommend like checking them out of, of your local library especially if you don't have a, a really mathy child and if you don't know if they're going to work for you if your child just loves math lives breathes all kinds of math and um and, and you know that that math's going to be their thing i would you know be confident you know picking up one of these books start with uh the first um adventures of penrose and if you like it and your child likes it you know and you finish it you may want to look at the other but um hope this helps this is dr j and i'm out Bye bye